Tony Daly, that exciting winger who missed the Port Vale match, is back to help them overcome the second division strugglers. Sun makes an appearance. And the wind causes more of a problem. McNally. Platt at him. Goodman and Platt. A bit of skating by Goodman. And that's well used by West. Bartley will be hoping to turn on it. 20 minutes of the match is gone. That's a good cross! Turned away by Mountfield. but too strong. by McNally, this is Olney, this is Price, Foreman Royd on the far side of the area, the tackle but Daly picks up, play by Talbot, just pressurising the man in possession, Mountfield, nobody went with him, so often the telling header from Derek Mountfield, his eighth goal of the season. And after the player manager tried to put the player on the ball under pressure, Mountfield had stolen forward in the defence. The cross was a beauty, and Mountfield just a little glance, and it's 1 0 Aston Villa. Time here for Burgess. The scorer back in defence. Cowens. And even Daly can chase that. Amazing escapes, Villa. One when Kevin Bartlett crossed, and they were all watching. And just a few seconds ago, when the ball came the other way, and bisected two defenders, goalkeeper watched, no attacker there to find a touch. Paul McRoy, challenged by Burgess, was a bit late. The one by White was a bit awkward. Gage. Daly, lost out of Talbot, Parrins, Ormond Royd. Chase for Goodman, free kick against Mountfield. Seeing it as a stretch for the ball rather than anything unscrupulous. White number six blocked by Daly. Harvey, you tried to get it through, but that could run kindly. Came off Goodman, off McGrath for the 
corner. McGrath knew very little about that. Just stumped him around the left ear. North forward. Better have left Daly up. Alvin have left two back to watch him. Dropped in, and he's good, and it's a brilliant save. Really got down well, didn't I just speak? And the player who dived in, it was a little difficult to identify from that posture, was hurt in the process. Brave header and a good save. Got a back flick from Stacey North. The foot was high, and I think it was Colin West who got it. But it's a match. Poised, waiting for something decisive to happen. Might have done then if Mountfield hadn't have intercepted. McNally. The Irishman twisting and turning. Mountfield. Goodman was waiting for just that. Lots of possession for Albion. West. Header across the face of the goal and nobody to come on it. Torba comes away disappointed. Nobody at all came in to collect his header across the six-yard area. And I think if he'd have had our view and seen who was around, he might well have headed for goal. Instead, he headed across, but nobody came up not in time Goodman, not true. West and Nielsen, one by West. There's three big fellas down the centre of the Villa defence. So hard to unlock, especially in the air. Ormond Royd's gone for the return. And said to Daly. Oh. Bouncing a bit. Price! And he will perhaps feel it should have been at a full sight of it. Tony Daly cutting inside his man, having popped up on the left wing. Price was looking at it all the way, got full view, just past the far post. Three minutes away from a place in round six. White, good challenge again by McGrath. Certainly one of the contenders for man of the match here in Mountfield. Here's Tony Daly, only up with him. Daly, still Daly. It's all over now. Villa are in round six. of Tony Daly brings the grimace to the face of Stuart Naylor. Albion are out, Villa march on. Took on North, was away, away from Harvey, and passed the right hand of Stuart Naylor. It's always been there as a threat for all the pressure from West Bromwich Albion. Up to that point, one head looked as though it was going to decide, although many heads at the back had ensured that the lead would be maintained. Now all pressure is removed. One or two people go home for a late lunch. And Villa know that their challenge on two fronts is still very much on. So 
Tony Daly. Goal number six. And another pointer made for Villa. And maybe elsewhere. And the referee now has only the time he's allowing for stoppages to consider. Didn't have to consider long. The goals first by Derek Mountfield, whose partnership with McGrath and Nielsen at the back was absolutely crucial to the Aston Villa victory, which was clinched by Tony Daly with an electrifying run that put the Villa supporters away from their worries and the team into round six.